So first off, if you want to get your Bluetooth keyboard and mouse connected up, turn on your keyboard, grab that and turn it into Bluetooth pairing mode. So in this case, I'm pressing and holding the Bluetooth button. You can see it flashing up there. Do the same with the mouse and then go into, let me just do that on the mouse. Okay, that's ready. So go into your menu for the TV then down to general external device manager, and then input device manager. Once in there, go into Bluetooth device list. Should find both devices in there. Just pair the keyboard first. Okay, now I'm doing the mouse. Okay, so we can come out of here can look at the keyboard settings, which set you, let you set the, the language and the layout. Mouse settings. So you can set the pointer speed. I'm going to change that to fast. Primary button left, which is fine for right-handed people. Okay, so that should be that. Now. If I go into the menu now, the other menu for apps, and go down to internet, move the mouse around, and that is responding to what I'm doing, and click into there. Now this is feeling really quite quick. And if we use the keyboard, that is actually really usable. Resolution's great. That's really nippy up and down using the mouse wheel. Um, that actually feels really good. Uh, I didn't think it would be that decent. Okay, so we'll come out of there. There's no mouse input at this point in those menus, um, but I'm now using the keyboard arrow keys to go through the menu. So that's quite neat. And then when you go to search for things, the keyboard will work here too. Pressing escape doesn't take me out at this point. Not sure where the exit is. So there will be keyboard mappings for various things, um, but I'm, I don't know what they are for the Samsung TV. Pressing back on the TV's remote, taking me back out. So obviously searching for things within a app Let's have a look, see how that works. Navigation still working properly here. Ah, so this one is this on-screen keyboard, so it's not taking input from the keyboard, but it is taking it from the arrow keys as I navigate around. Let's come back out, go to one that does. So interestingly, nearly all of the apps I've tried so far have an on-screen keyboard of some sort to allow you to go through. Now I'm using the mouse here, so I can actually select characters uh, to search for through there, but it doesn't let me get into the search field here uh, and I can't um, just type characters onto the screen. So you can hear there, I'm, I'm clicking on keys and nothing's happening. So it's worth bearing in mind that that is quite limited. Even Steam Link 
uh, is requiring um, the devices to be attached via USB, so it's not accepting any Bluetooth connections here. So even though I've got a mouse and keyboard attached and uh, tapping away there, nothing's going to happen because it really wants you to connect it via USB. So overall, um, it, it's kind of worth having, if you're going to browse the internet using your TV, which I don't think a lot of people are really going to do, uh, application support is really limited in the fact that most of them that allow you to search for a program don't accept keyboard or mouse input. That was, that was really patchy. And since it doesn't work in Steam Link, that's not going to help you. Uh, I think that would have been one of the really good places that this could have worked is for you to be able to control your game uh, using a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard from the comfort of your sofa rather than uh, having a wired connection uh, for that, that mouse and keyboard. Seems a bit silly. So yeah, mixed results on this. Uh, I'd really recommend it. Um, I guess let me know in the comments whether you actually have this kind of setup and what you use it for uh, if you end up uh, having a Bluetooth mouse and keyboard uh, connected to your TV all the time. Be interested to know what you do with it. Anyway, thanks for watching.